welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've made a vlog. Uh, so today I thought I'll show you guys the city of Melbourne. I'm here at Collins Street in one of the busiest uh, streets in Melbourne city. So if you see there's tram stops here and the previous one which you saw it was a train station. It's called the Southern Cross train station. One of the best uh, donuts in the city. It's called the Daniel's Donuts. And you have the variety of donuts here, different flavors, different. Um, you know, it's got different uh, delicious creams. You can see this jam and cream donuts. And you've got the Nutella donuts. Reasonable price. It's got the reasonable price you see here. It's really good. They've got some milkshakes as well and some small goodies. So this is a must try, guys. When you come to Melbourne, please visit Daniel's Donuts. This is one of the like small bakeries. It's called Bread Top. Now uh, in uh, in Australia, it's autumn season. A lot of uh, these maple trees here, um, and the leaves go brown. You can see it's it's all falling off now. It's autumn, and you can see all the leaves down. Yeah. So this is the best time I must say to visit Melbourne. It's very beautiful. Um, during summer it gets hot, but the best time to visit Melbourne I must say it is from January, like end of January. So you can handle the heat um, and until March, April. April it gets a bit cold, but you can see the March and April you can see the autumn season. And it's really, really beautiful. And these are the trams in Melbourne City. And it's actually free uh, within the Melbourne City zone. So if you want to travel anywhere within the city area, it's absolutely free. And the, these trams, the ones which you are seeing, is the modern ones, but they do have the um, the traditional ones, which are like many years ago. They have the tr this tram has been like from many years ago. You know, it's the city has its old heritage buildings as well, and I can show you those buildings. Um, they keep they have actually kept the facade the same, and but they have done the renovations and things. They've uh, they still. Uh, keeping that old tradition heritage you know those are the value they value those things very much here so that's the beauty of beauty of Melbourne and this is the old tram that I I was telling you
so you have the free tram zone that's what I told you before it's within the Melbourne city limits so you don't have to pay anything it's free and if you're going outside the city limits you have to pay and we have the Mikey card we have to charge the card and you have to tap it here and if you're paying for it yeah. that's the tram you have the seats it's a, it's a big tram can you see it goes up to that side we have different compartments it's called the Burke Street you have uh, the shopping malls either sides of the streets um, and here you can see the clock tower it's about four o'clock in the evening so it's full of people here it was even more crowded before COVID now because of covid it's all reduced but now it's coming back people are coming back there are all the restaurants getting open now so they encourage uh, to come to restaurants in the city and they are giving some discounts as well so this is one of the shopping centers called Myers and you have a lot of lot of uh, varieties I can show you what are the shops it's really good it's like duty free it's very big So May 8th is Mother's Day, so they have got a lot of offers here. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So that building you see, it's um, the H&M building. They have the store in the very old heritage building. As I told you before, they still preserve these old heritage facades but they have renovated inside so that's how that's the clock tower there I can show take you even there that's called the Royal Arcade it's called very uh, small shops inside and it's, it's really good we can show you the old shops it's a very old building as well called the Royal Arcade. This, this is the entrance of the Myers. We are going inside now and you can see all top brands Chanel, Esther Delora, Mecca and you've got the Lancome there. Many other brands I can show you. It's like duty free. got the Jamalon London, we've got the Elizabeth Arden, and this is the Chanel brand. I really like these products but I haven't used them. Um, I have used the lipstick, they're really good. Um, yeah, they have nice perfumes as well. You can see they've got other brands like Clinique, Gucci, Clarins. This side we've got Dior. Dior brand is as well. It's really, really, really good. That side we've got the Mac, Bobby Brown. So here, the complete the ground floor. It's full of makeup, perfumes and things and as you go like they have about eight floors this shopping center so you have about like each floor we have different um you know like for clothes and you have the men's section for the women's and you've got the kids and also you've got many kitchen items like 
so dinner wear dinner sets and other things I can show you everything so first we explore this area here I really love to come here because I can try different perfumes oh this smells so good what's that so this is the Esther Lauder and it's really really good wow wonderful They've got all the gift sets because of Mother's Day. And here you can see the Lancome products. Lancome is really good. I have used Lancome products. It's really, really beautiful. Um, they have good stuff for like the skincare routine and things. So you can, it's really good. And there you've got the Tom Ford, which is really, really expensive. But I can show you one of the one of the perfume that I have smelled. I, I have previously got some samples from here, and that is one. This one is here. It's called the Santal Blush, and this smells like heaven. It's like it's it's got that um, you know that Middle Eastern uh, smell. And it's really good, guys. You must actually try this. Actually, Tom Ford is very expensive. The last time I got some samples, and it's really good. And it's worth buying, actually, if you want to buy them. You've got, you can buy the 10 ml or the 30 ml. But the other, if you go want to go with 100 or more, it's really expensive. I, I think I can go up to 30 ml. But spending so much doesn't really make sense. Of course, you're using just a little bit, little bit of the perfume, so you can always go on to thirty. No, yeah, these are the brands, and they have got different, different variety, like different uh, smell. You can, they have the big bottles. That's a two fifty mil. the escalator yeah and there we've got other perfume brands as well you know the um like gucci brand chloe they've got the burberry brand and i can show you the bulgari brand as well yeah 